let's go and reinstall this bad boy. Uh, let's put it right here first. Okay. So I'll just drop it in there. I believe, I believe it goes like this. This is going to be hard to do with one hand. Okay, I got it in there. Um, it was a pretty tight fit. Um, I had to kind of shoehorn it in. You kind of have to shoehorn the um, the filler the filler float in there like that, and then like you kind of have to bend the strainer just enough to go so it clears in there. And then uh, yeah, it's in there now. So cool. So all I have to do is line up the studs. Hopefully it fits in there fine. Wants to be a little bitch to get in there. Okay. Let's make sure it's on there properly. Okay. We'll just put the we'll put some anti seize on these studs real quick, just in case. Just the top, just a tip. Okay. Got my good friend here, anti seize compound. Just dab a little bit on the tips there. Um, just so if we ever need to get to the fuel pump again, um, the studs won't be frozen. Fortunately, the this time they were not, so that's a good thing. Try not to get it all over the place. Okay, should be good. It's just a little bit on there is fine. Put the. Those should go on there nice and good now that they're lubed. Oh, great. There's like a big glob of uh, anti seize I got somewhere. That stuff is like paint, man. It's hard to get off your, your skin. Hopefully I won't tighten it all the way. I will uh what I'll do is uh I'll make sure the the nuts line up. Cause see you can see there's a clean part where the nuts are touching, so I don't know if there's a little bit of showing there. I'll nudge that to the side a little bit. Should be good. Just just to make sure it was in the same exact place it was before. I should try to get as close as we can. That one looks a little off on the bottom. It's okay. Alright. I'm trying to use like kind of like a star pattern sort of kind of. As much as I can. I don't know what the torque is. I really want to use a torque wrench on these. I will probably break them. <laughs> so just a little bit snug. In fact, in fact, something better to use. Let's use. Let's use this. This way, I won't snap the studs off. So those are eight millimeter studs, and uh, they probably won't be happy if you pull the torque them. They'll probably break the studs right off. As much as we can with the screwdriver, gently should be good. So the little uh, the little nubs are sticking out all the way. That's good. That means the the gasket is lined up pro properly, and everything's in there. Um, and you can see like it looks like this one is the only one that didn't like line up properly because you can still see some of the clean stuff in there. And now we just connect our fuel line. So I'm just gonna do do it hand tight right now. 
unfortunately, um, this gallant is in pretty good shape where the gas tank is. Because uh, some I've seen are really rusty and stuff. Okay. So now we'll go tighten it. And I'll just tighten it as tight as I can with the wrenches. Not super duper tight, but... sure it doesn't leak. Okay, it's pretty tight. As you can see here, uh, there's none of the exposed threads. They're all dirty still, so that's good. Um, let's go hook up and make sure I can clean up some of this stuff here. Back the way I found it, and uh, should be good to go. Well, so let's uh, before let's see how your car works first. How about that? Let's hook this up real quick. Let's fire it up. All right. There we go. It's the moment of truth. I'm not gonna install it properly. We'll find out when the boost kicks in, right? <laughs> so let's, let's just check if it runs and if it leaks or not. There it goes. There we go, it starts. Good deal. I don't see any leaks anywhere. <laughs> Turn my anime music off. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so there it is. Um, it's, I don't know, I don't, I'm pretty sure, you know, the cool thing about the Gallant is that your gas tank is way back here and it's right under the, um, the trunk. It's not, it's not near you, um, so you can't really hear it. Uh, on the Eclipse, you can, it's noticeable, you can hear it. The Walbro 190 is a little bit more um, noisier than the stock pump. So you'll you'll actually hear it, but uh, this was not that uh, not that bad. Um, I don't I don't really hear it at all. Oh yeah, no, I can actually hear it. Hear it? It's working. Okay, so let's rev it. Let's rev it first. Uh oh the fuel the low fuel light is on that's not good yeah the low fuel light indicator is on and I don't think it's that low on fuel so I may have done something wrong so hold on let's uh 
Let's drive it around the block. Okay, um, the fuel, the low fuel light went away. So uh, my uh, Galant is low on fuel. So. <laughs> <laughs> is what I'm telling you. But uh, I was parked on a crown at an angle, and it was parked at a at the angle that uh, that the fuel would be away from the pickup. So um, that should be should be good. Maybe maybe the float got stuck or something. I don't I don't know. Um, but it says we're pretty close to E. I got 159 miles on the, on this tank, so that's a pretty bad gas mileage. <laughs> I'm but uh, I did lose some fuel taking, yeah, I did lose some fuel, maybe, maybe like a cup of fuel or something, uh, driving it around, uh, uh, taking the fuel pump out. So, uh, so yeah, we're about, about a quarter tank. That's about what it was before. So the fuel sender is working and we are not uh, that low on fuel. Maybe we just needed to get the fuel moving around in there. That's good, it works. Um, now, the, we'll, can we boost is the question. Let's try to boost in the first, if I can. Oh, oh boy. Okay, I, 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 I kind of kind of stepped on the clutch for a little bit and it made me jump forward. <laughs> yes, it does boost. Uh, I guess we probably really won't know until we get on the freeway. All right, yeah, I try to drive with one hand, so. <laughs> okay, Woo! all right. It's... Okay, I was uh, worried that uh, I messed up something in the fuel sending unit. Uh, but it is good. It is good. Oh boy, I shouldn't have done that. But uh, it does boost. That's a good thing. That means uh, it's getting enough fuel. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully I installed everything properly. But it be good. So now uh, all we have to do is a. Uh... Oh shit! All this stuff went flying. I hope the screws didn't go missing. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, where did the screws go? Oh man. All right. Anyway. Clean this up. I'll, I'll button it all up. Here's one of them. Alright, here we go. So, uh, install successful and it runs. So, uh, it's a good thing. So, there you go. There's a Hades Omega's, uh, Walbro 190 liter per hour, uh, fuel pump install on the Galant VR4. It, uh, it did not go as smoothly as I, I'd planned. Uh, I don't think the second gen Eclipse is was that hard. I, if, I, if I remember correctly, I don't think I had to cut the pickup and all that stuff. Uh, I, I probably I probably bought a 1G uh, or a, a Walbro install kit for a DSM, and I was like, "What the hell is this hose for?" You know, and I probably just chucked it, you know. But now I know what it's for, <laughs> and now I know why they give you the little harness too. Uh, uh, so I was worried I kind of messed the connector up uh, when I tried to take it out. It was really hard to get in there, but uh, but uh, it, it's fine. It should be fine. Um, Hopefully along the line that that uh, that ground wire won't get pulled out or something because there's a lot of tension. There's kind of a lot of tension on it right now, and um, and that the, the fuel line is kind of at an angle. So it didn't install. It didn't install like OEM. I'll tell you that, man. Uh, but uh, it's a higher. It's a better performing fuel pump, as you can see, since it's bigger. Uh, it's it's bigger in size for one thing. So uh, so yeah, good to go. All right, so I'm just gonna button this all up, and uh, so that should be it. Uh, so Easy yeah, back. so I, I just wanted to point out, yeah. So the fuel mods that I've done on this uh, on this Galant are the fuel pump rewire. Uh, the previous owner did that. This is their handiwork. The wiring, yeah, the wiring is like all in here, and I actually uh, modified the um, the connector, so so it's a, like a, a easy plug-in connector. Um, so it's it's a pretty clean install. Look at that, and he even uh, he even tucked the wire away um, into the harness, uh, so it won't be hooked up to the battery. It looks it looks OEM. <laughs> and then uh, and then we have the Walbro 190 fuel pump now. So now I can feel comfortable that hey, we can probably boost, we can boost at least stock levels, and the engine won't blow up. And uh, once if we get fuel injectors, uh, we can we can turn up the boost a little bit. Uh, I'm planning to put some. Uh, I'm probably gonna put a, a 3G MAF in here. I don't think we need it. I'm not sure. Um, and uh, some Evo Evo 9 injectors in um, that flows like about 100 cc more. So uh, we should be able to boost a lot, maybe like 20. Um, but I don't have a I don't have a uh, uh, I don't have a wide band on this, so I don't want to turn up the boost too much. I'm just gonna keep it low. 
Plus, I, I, you know, I don't want to blow up the engine. <laughs> I don't want to put it through too much stress. Once you start turning up the boost and stuff, uh, it, uh, you know, it lowers the life of the car, you know. Um, but uh, I think, uh, I'm thinking maybe we can do probably do 18. So I'm thinking it's at like 12 or 13 right now. I wouldn't hesitate now that we have the fuel pump. I wouldn't hesitate to to bump it up to 14. Um, 14, and then when it when it's cold, it'll be like 16. So it's cool. All right. So those are the that's uh, the closing uh, remarks for the um, the fuel pump install. Um, this car, uh, I can I can now say that this car is like it'll be pretty reliable with this setup now um, with the bigger turbo. Um, yeah. Okay. Here's what it sounds like uh, with it all buttoned up. You can hear it a little bit. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna hear it from inside the car. So it's. It's pretty good, man. It's almost like stock. It's not, it's not like some fucking screamer pump. <laughs> I like how you uh, so it. before I put all this stuff away, uh, so this is what a Evo 9 fuel pump looks like compared to the uh, Gallant VR4 pump. The Gallant one is it's still shorter, so that's probably why it's a lot easier to install on a 2G. <laughs> um, I don't know if the 1G has the same pump, um, but the one on the Gallant is pretty, pretty small. Um, yeah so this one uh i bought this one to install and then uh the it came with the broken uh broken in uh, outlet port here so um so i just decided not to use it i got it for really cheap anyways well i got it for like 60 bucks i think or something that's money wasted but um there might be a way to fix it but i don't know man it's just uh better not <laughs> i don't feel i don't feel uh comfortable running something like that um, that has some kind of repair job on it you know um, I mean you could probably JB weld the port back on or you can put like some kind of fitting like an AN fitting or something but yeah anyway that's that's the difference between an Evo pump and a, and a Gallant pump <laughs>